Four hours after a fire destroyed a popular party barge on Lady Bird Lake, investigators are calling it arson. The Capitol cruise boat sits on the shores at Hyatt Hotel. It caught on fire in the middle of the day yesterday, sending smoke and flames into the sky and catching a lot of attention out there. KXN's Jacqueline and Glaze live at Festival Beach, where that boat was moved today. And Jackie, why do police think this is a case of arson? Robert, their reasoning is twofold. No one was supposed to be on board this party boat, and witnesses told fire investigators they saw a man running away from the marina after it burst into flames. Now, that man's being described as an African American male in his 30s that's between 5 foot 5 and 5 foot 7, weighing around 150 pounds. Witnesses say he had short brown hair and was wearing a denim jacket that had the word Arizona written on the back. The man was also carrying a white plastic grocery bag with clothes inside along with a backpack. It took more than 17 fire crews and 60 firefighters to put out a boat blaze investigators now think was set on purpose. It was uh, just like a big firework, big crack, and then uh, more smoke and flames. We saw just these big flames. Capital Cruises lost three boats in the fire. The two-story party boat is a complete loss. Damage was also done to paddle boats, canoes, and kayaks, but no one was hurt. The owner, who does have insurance, was out of town when the fire broke out. In talking with the owner, uh, he's told us that nobody should have been on that boat in the past two days. The fire was hard to fight. Flames erupted first at the marina near the First Street Bridge. Then, when the boat's ropes and moorings were burned through, it floated east to the Congress Avenue Bridge. That's a little dynamic situation there where uh, we had a, a moving fire moving away from us. Billowing smoke forced police to shut down the Congress Avenue Bridge. This also helped clear the way for fire crews to tackle the blaze from above, drawing dozens of spectators. People were parking in front of fire trucks, weren't getting out of their way. Investigators are now hoping the chaos can help them close this case and are asking for video footage passerby shot. Especially since the cause of the fire is not known and the boat owner says he doesn't know the suspect. There is some evidence of a couple propane heaters, portable propane heaters that are on the boat. Uh, too much damage to those brass valves to be able to tell if they were open or closed or not. Now, if you have video or pictures that could be of interest to fire investigators, you're being urged to get in contact with the Austin Fire Department. Also, Robert, this boat was expected to go out on Lady Bird Lake this New Year's Eve. So if you are a customer with a reservation, you're being asked to call Capital Cruises. Live in East Austin, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN News. Jackie, thanks. A fire destroyed a portable